Shekh Hasina. She has made us stand taller. She has made us feel brighter. She has made us look smarter. She has shown us out of darkness. She has shown us out of poverty. She has shown us out of illiteracy. And where it's going to go with uh, keeping in mind with the election ahead in 2023 or maybe January 2024. How do you perceive the political situation? We have several times categorically said that this government is an unelected government. This is not an elected government. Last two elections were totally, totally flawed. And in fact, you know that the last election, 2018, the election was declared night before the day of election. And in fact, the, even, the, even the candidates who could not go for campaigning, a lot of our candidates were arrested before the election. Mr. Uh, uh, Rai is here. He was severely tortured, attacked, and injured. And a lot of our candidates were injured, they were arrested. Thousands of our boys, our, our activists, they were arrested, they were tortured. Thousands of false fake cases were lost against our activists and the campaigners. So you know the understanding of what happened at that time. And in 2014, 154 candidates were declared uncontested. And only 5% people, they went for voting. So no, no vote at all. And this time, they have formed an election commission without consulting the other political parties. And they, and unilaterally, they named the people and they have selected their own when they were all our leaders. And the political scenario in the country, you, have, you are observing it, that when a, a liberal democratic political party has uh, declared a peaceful programs of divisional uh, gatherings, three days earlier, the government supported unions, or transport unions, they declared hartals and strikes. Three days earlier. Our workers and leaders, they were arrested from their homes, houses, and they were barred from coming to, uh, even to other transports, in all the places. But people there, they overcome the whole situation and they attended the gatherings very successfully and the meetings were held very successfully. This time in Dhaka, before, just before, you, even if it was one month ago, they started saying that there will be no uh, elections, uh, there will be no uh, meetings in Dhaka city. Nobody will be allowed to uh, hold any meeting here and they will not be allowed to gather. They, they, they were saying all these things. They are threatening people. They are threatening everybody. So that is the scenario now. I have told you earlier that in our, our, from our party, which is the biggest, largest political party, 600 people have been, enforced deviance has, uh, has happened and they, they just disappeared. More than thousands have been killed and more than 3.5 million people, they were given fake cases. Still, today, this morning, I had been in uh, the court uh, with two cases. Mr. Mirza was also there with several cases and these things are continuing for the last 14, 14 years. So there is no, in fact, there is no democratic environment here. There is no democratic space. We are not being allowed to hold our processions, meetings freely. So now, even in the, even in the uh, media, you know, the media is not free. In the judiciary, the judiciary is completely controlled by the government. In fact, a total authoritarianism is being held here in Bangladesh. So in Bangladesh, the, the crisis now is a totally, it's a,